G'day and welcome to another Tech Doctor TV. Uh, this is my second uh, take of the intro because as I was introing before, I noticed a spider walking along the cable for the overhead cam. Um, just one of the foibles of living in Australia. Uh, it wasn't a big one, but still, it could have grown. Anyway, today um, I'm feeling a bit lazy. I'm just dressed in casual gear, as you can see. Uh, we are doing a mini ITX build. It's a it's a low power build. It's just an i3, uh, nothing too exciting, but I just thought I'd do it just to for anyone who's curious about making an ITX, mini ITX uh, build, um, and who we can also have a look at this Chopin, uh, Inwin Chopin um, mini ITX case. Now the brief for the job was something that could basically just do web browsing, um, you know, uh, emails and just sort of basic stuff. So, you know, an i3 is all that was really needed. But the main specification was that it had to fit into a space of 28 centimetres high, uh, by 10 centimetres wide, which made it quite a challenge for a case. Uh, we didn't want to go down the, uh, the road of the, the, the nooks or nooks or however you say it. Personally, I think it's a silly name, but anyway. Um, we wanted an actual desktop case. Uh, so this was probably the, the only one that I could find that actually fit within those specifications. Everything else was just too high or, you know, it was very cuby. Uh, so I think we're going to be happy with this. So let's... Let's crack on, get into it. So we've got the uh, Gigabyte Aorus uh, Ultra Plus DDR4. Just a quick note, on my previous video, uh, the troubleshooting one, one of the cameras was reversed. So I, I, I apologise for that. Um, I, I don't know. It's using the same cameras, but one was reversed. And I didn't notice it until, until halfway through and I thought, well, we're too far gone now. So anyway, that's what happened. But uh, everything is, is as it should be now. Pull this little fella out. It's quite a cute little thing, isn't it? So we've got the motherboard in there. Actually, I might keep this box. I've got a return and FPOS terminal, so that could be good. Um, what have we got in here? SATA cables, as you would expect. A... Uh, can't quite tell what that is. It looks like a, uh, a fan converter. Like a standard four pin fan down to a they'll obviously like have special fan headers on this motherboard I am assuming another one of those a Mulex to another specialty adapter so obviously these this board I haven't worked with this board before has another fan thing uh, has different connectors this looks like an RGB uh, cable which we won't be needing because we're not doing RGB on this and Wi-Fi this board comes with Wi-Fi which is really good uh, and what's this what's this USB two USB things to yet another specialty uh, connector so okay so that's good to know so we'll pop all this to the side and what we got here presumably I uh, have the M.2 in massive bags I suppose you're not going to lose it. Nice little Aorus focus, Aorus badge. Okay, pop him over here. Pop it out there. We won't be needing that, so I'm going to pop all these cables into there and put him down here. Right. Fold boxy box up. Yeah, I like the idea of uh, small PCs like you know mini ITX, um, but yeah, so I've never really been a big fan of the of the Nux. They just, I don't know. I haven't had a lot of good experience with them. I, I feel like the performance was just a little bit lacking. But um, hey, that may have just been my experience with that. Granted, they weren't brand new. They were already in place somewhere, and they just ran like pieces of shit, really. These, I reckon, will be a better deal. Um, okay, so there's your uh, there's your PCIe slot. Where are all those headers? So there are the headers. Fan, a traditional fan for your CPU cooler, uh, just up there near the 12 volt uh, thing. Lots of plastic all over here. You easy to miss. Come off. 
Okay, come. Come on. Okay. That was a bigger bit than I was expecting. All right, so I think we've got all, all the plastic. Yep. Back plate looks pretty decent. Display port, HDMI, USB 3 times 2, USB. I don't know if they're... Just trying to get a light on there. Yeah, USB 3.2. These look like they might just be USB 2. But, you know, keyboard mouse. Uh, USB 3.2, uh, USB C, 3.2, 3.2, and of course the um, Ethernet. And uh, Q Flash, is it Q Flash? Yes, Q Flash button and the Wi Fi uh, terminals. So, moving on. <coughs> Excuse me. So, we just got the i3 12100 because um, we're keeping the budget in mind. Hence why we've gone with the 12th gen, because it's just cheaper than the 13th gen, obviously. Um, and even though the 13th gen is arguably better, um, at a pure cost, on a pure cost basis, we went with it with the 12th gen. Alright, I'm just wondering how fiddly this is going to be. I mean, obviously the, 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 uh, the CPU is not going to be all that fiddly. Baby's hitting the dogs today, so we've got five dogs in the house. Three sausages, one miniature sausage, two normal sausages, uh, mini foxy, and the chihuahua. You met Polly the other day. And um, the other two sausages are Will and Wes. They are big buffets by comparison. About twice the size of Polly. And twice the weight. Okay, that's him. I like these new Intel coolers. I mean, they're just basically an Intel cooler, but I like, I like the black. Now, can we, will that stretch if I do it that way? May do, I'm gonna try it. Just to sort of keep the cables out the way. Click, click. Why does one always insist on being the not clicker? Just excuse me, put this under the light. I believe that's gone. No, it hasn't quite gone in. There's always one. All right. Oh, come on, behave yourself. with me. Gosh, it's going to be a warm one. It's only spring and it is just after 10 but already I can feel it's a, uh, a bit sweaty. Oh, God's sake. I'm going to pull this off and do it again because it just doesn't want to click on properly. Normally these should just click straight in without any any fuss, but for whatever reason, it's causing a fuss. And that. Okay, so and rotate that back. We'll try that again. Can't get my uh, hand down into there. There we go. Four clicks and we're done. It's important to get all those clicks. You know, tempting to go. Ah, oh, looks good enough, but don't. Shouldn't have done that. All right, I'm going to go this way. <clears throat> yeah, you want all four in there, otherwise you're not going to get the, the best thermal performance of your cooler. 
And what will we go with him? We will. I'll just thread him back this way. Yeah, well, that didn't go to plan, did it? <laughs> anyway. No big deal. There we go. All right, he's not there nicely. Um, RAM, got 16 gig of, of uh, DDR4. We're using um, SP. It's a budget brand, but I um, uh, silicon power, I should say. I haven't had any dramas with these, so, you know, for this kind of machine, I don't see any problem using it. Of course, I always give it a, <clears throat> a test before I send it out anyway, just to make sure that there is no issues. I just wish they'd make them in an easier to access packet. Frustrating. Run. And here's the other one. There we go. Click, click. Uh, oh yeah, and I've got to um, pull one of these shrouds off to get to the, the M.2, which I believe will be here. So we'll get this to screwdriver. Not more plastic, good, okay. Dee -dee -dee -dee. Trying something a bit different with the cameras, uh, like a, kind of like a split screen, like a third for this long shot with the uh, overhead. Uh, so to sort of save on wasted space, so I don't have to chop, chop and change the cameras too much. Uh, one of these um, screws is, is uh, quite long, so that's the screw near the near the RAM. Oh, there's the third screw just hiding there, I just missed him. And look, even more plastic. Those dogs better not bark. And this feels like a long screw as well. Yep, two longies and a shorty. And off it comes. And we've got, uh, that's, a, that's a decent heat sink for, for the SSD with your, with your plastic. And it's got thermal padding top and bottom. So you've got uh, a little bit of plastic to pull off the bottom. That's really good. I suppose being in a confined space, they're going to uh, generate a bit of heat. Now, we need one of those. Uh, that's why they have them in a ridiculously large bag, so they're easy to find. Hang on to these. Should you ever need to return the CPU? What am I looking for? Right, let's open the hard drive and we are using a crucial P3 Plus with a, uh, it's a 500 gig. Um, read, write, uh, sorry, read. Hang on a second. Oi, stop. Dog's gone wild. Uh, yeah, 4,700 megabytes read, uh, which is which is pretty decent. Not the fastest out there, but it's uh, it's good, particularly for this scenario. <clears throat> I just love the advent of uh, these drives. It just just makes things so much neater. Less cables. Uh, in you go. Click, and they've actually included a screw, but will it be the right size? I'm going to use the one that came with the motherboard um, because that is matched, obviously, to the pre-installed riser. I'd like to see the, um, the snap lock that you see on some of the higher-end boards. I'd, I'd like to see that become a, 
a regular thing because they're just really good. All right, let's him in. And now we peel. It's nice and squidgy. Yeah, all right, this way. So there's only one way it can go. And I don't think there's going to be much in the way of having to line it up. It should just, just plops into place. Let's get down. All right, there is a little bit of lining up to do. There we go. Right. I've seen far worse lining things up. This one's pretty good. God, I've been having sinus problems lately. They drive me insane. I won't bore you with that. School holidays here at the moment, so my wife, who is a teacher, is uh, is very happy. Yeah, she's on holiday. Oops, I might just loosen them off because this needs to have just a little bit of. There we go. Yes, yeah, so she's on holiday, and consequently, business generally quiets down for me. People going away with their kids, and you know. <clears throat> so as a result, my wife thinks this is how it is all the time, that I just bum around the house and you know, do a couple of hours work a day. It's not entirely true. One sec. Strange noises going on out there. Anyway, CPU, SSD, RAM. Right, we are good for this for the moment. And they've also opted for uh, an external DVD uh, because they still use them and we couldn't, it would be nice if this case had like a slimline DVD built in, but um, you can't have everything, I suppose. So I'll hang on to that because they're good. They are good to have those little SSD cases. <clears throat> so much easier to clean up as you go, which I rarely do. All right, let's have a look at the old Chopin. Now, how does this open? Like that, eh? It's got a bit of a bit of weight to it, so it's certainly not flimsy. Oops. So yeah, that's a that's a nice looking little little unit. So it's the kind that you can you know you can set it up uh, vertically, like so, uh, or it's designed to go either way. Now they tell me, uh, and they're right, it comes with separate um, colour plates to go down there, so you can personalise it. So we will uh, we will do that. All right, let's open her up and have a look at what we're dealing with on the inside. What's that noise out there? Oh, I think the neighbour's doing something with his boat. Okay, so one screw, and off she comes. <coughs> Okay, so here's the, it's a, got a built-in power supply. And there's your plug. Now, it, it does only have a 150 water, so you're certainly not gonna be putting anything uh, too powerful in this. Um, let's just see what we've got in the way of the power connectors. 
Git, git, and git. All right, so we've got obviously the 12 pin. All right, and a, a SATA runs off that. And your eight pin, and that's it. So there's not a lot going on there. So you got your basically you got your power, and one SATA. Uh, check out what he's for. I don't think we're going to need him. Uh, okay, it's going to open up to be like a monstrosity. Have you not heard of a book? All right. <clears throat> Put these on so I can actually read. Move the right panel. Done. Put stuff in. That seems pretty, uh, pretty easy. Oh, so you do get, that's what the splitter cables are for, so you can run off a few different things. <coughs> oh, and that's just in a different language. Uh. Yeah, well, as to be expected with these kind of things, uh, it really tells me, uh, sweet FA. Well, it's folded back up, not quite right, but it's, it's folded back up nonetheless. All right, pop that down there and we'll just see how we go. Now, it looks like we've already got like standoffs pre-installed. Interestingly, it doesn't appear. Oh no, it does, sorry, I stand corrected. <clears throat> I wasn't sure if it came with screws, but it does. So yeah, so you've got a, um, a SATA extender. God knows where you're going to put the SATA drives, probably underneath on the other side, perhaps. But hence why the uh, M.2 drives are such a, uh, such a good thing. All right, you I tell you for, a, for its demure size, it's, it's going to have a bit of heft now. Yeah. It's uh, it's tight. Okay, is there a, uh, a way I should be doing this? Is that going like that? There we go. Okay. It's a little bit awkward to get in, but nothing major. Now I don't know if you, you can't. I don't know if you can see from that angle, but that cooler is sitting just above the case. Um, however, the thing has a uh, a little hump in it, so that will clear it. So you're not going to be putting any specialty cooler into this. All right, let's have a look at these headers. We've got the USB 3. And cable management is really going to be pretty much non-existent. You're just going to have to do your best. So I think we'll plug it in first. I'm just going to turn the secondary light on for a moment so I can plug it in first would be a really good thing to do. It's the bloody plug gone. Just need a little bit of extra light just so I can see what's going on in here. It doesn't impact the pick too much. Stop it. Oi! Hang on. Talks. All right. 
by the little old ladies walking past the house and the dogs decide we better bark at them because oh, they're big and scary and a threat. So I'm just going to, uh, actually I might see what they're going to do first. So one's USB, one's the audio. Now, this is where it's, yeah, I should probably screw it in first, eh? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I almost forgot the crucial step. <coughs> There's only four screws to uh, secure, secure the motherboard in there. Get over, come on. Some little screws. Not sure what they're, oh, they'd be for SATA. Um, your standard 2.5 inch SATA on the back of the motherboard, like obviously there's a tray or something that they go to. So what do we got? A lot of them. One, two, three, and four. Yeah, there are lots of those little, little SATA uh, draw, uh, screws. Four of the standard uh, hex head. All right. Let's just line him up with these holes. I'll try not to headbutt the camera. That's one. Right, get the first one in. That's a crucial thing. I'm sort of wondering if I, uh, we'll see how we go. I'm just wondering if maybe I should have plugged these cables in before I put the motherboard in. I think we'll be all right, it's just gonna be a bit fiddly. Here. Okay, so you can get, you could put a video card in there. Obviously it would have to be a very uh, slim line fella. Now, let's have a look at these adapters. Because I feel we're going to need them for these other labels. So that's Wi-Fi, we don't need him, don't need that. Why they're giving us a fan fan headers? Uh, I mean, where else are you going to put fans on this thing? Anywho, so what does this plug into? Did you know the HD audio uh, front panel connector has um, has its own pin out? Alright, let's have a closer look at things. Alright, let's consult the motherboard. Now, question, oh, that, that must be coming off there. I reckon that would be for the front panel connectors. It would have to be because they've got to go somewhere. Although, well that's USB, unless that's all powered by USB. Anyway, let's have a look at the motherboard. Heat sink, yeah we know that. Front panel header, which is Yeah, that would have to be that, because we've got two USB 3s which come off this, and then this, what looks to be a USB connector. I mean, it's it's designed in a very similar way. Ah, that's why it doesn't fit into there. Yeah, radio. So that is coming from there for the front power connectors, 
uh, it's just cleverly disguised as USB but in a different pinout, having the, the blank in a different area. So if we don't have USB things to go on there, we may not need this after all that. So let's find out the speaker header. No, not the speaker header, the um, audio header. Uh, da, 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 da. Battery reset front audio. Ah, oh, that's a that is a bit of a pain in the ass. It would appear it's under that, and I didn't see it. And you've got to run an adapter out. So we can take this fella off. We don't need him. So that's something, I suppose. So I'm going to have to unscrew the motherboard. Take the uh, because one of the screws is over here. There's there's nothing I can do. I don't think I can. I don't think there's a way to get to that screw. No, there's not. I'm going to leave that light on. I hope that doesn't upset anything. No. All right, it's only four screws. Okay, so yeah, no, I'm going to unplug them. As much as I don't really want to, I hate undoing this USB um, USB three header. I'm going to try and avoid it actually, because once they're in, they are assholes to to get out again. No, actually, all right. I'm just going to shift that, just that little bit, so I can get that cover off. I don't need to fully remove it. So that's small mercies. It's always going to be something that is going to make you think, because you get so used to building something in a certain way, like you're most commonly building on a either an MATX or an ATX board and you just get to know where everything is and how it all works. And then you come along to a mini ITX, you may not do the, a lot of them, and just trips you up. All right, so. They better not be lying to me after all this. So are they talking about this yes okay so that that one that's coming off the uh, the big power connector appears that it's going on here ah, it fits if it fits it sits but what is Okay, so that's that. Where the hell is this audio? There's nothing to remove. 19. Okay, so according to this, there should be something coming out from here. Where the freaking hell is it? Seems a little bit. So it's just one screw here. So take the hard drive out. I don't think that that has anything to do with it. So, I'll take that off. Come on, you motherfucker. I'll admit I thought this was going to be a, a click build. Got him off. Now there's movement on this thing. I don't know if you can see that, but 
but according to according to the instructions you just take one screw off and then it should come off oh, so you can put an extra I'm gonna try and get this bastard out it's the only way Okay. So it looks like you can put a second, um, you can put a second M.2 under there. But how? I'm still not seeing any cable. Is that... Why would you stick the fucking thing under there? Is that him? Oh, look at that. Hey? That was shoved right up in there. All right. Well, problem solved. But that was a pain in the ass. Now, which one was that? So we'll put this back in. Okay, now is that a standard connector for the audio? Yes. I just don't understand why they'd hide the fucking thing. Well, live and learn. I know next time where to look. And the instructions weren't entirely clear. Alright, so I'll pop that there and leave him down. It just seems just seems strange because it's not like that's really a an optional thing. Like nine times out of ten you're gonna use that audio header. So why why hide it? Yeah, which way do you want to go? This way. All right, so you're in. Everyone's happy there. That goes there. So you've got a... Right. And now I have to finagle this back in again. Thankfully, it isn't too hard, but... Make sure this third hole is lined up. I'm just looking at the screen. It's giving me a better shot this in real life. It's a bit zoomed. Yeah, little fella, where are you? Come here. Honestly, thought I was going mad. Time is it? Okay. Right. Now, let's try this again. Keep him accessible. Now, just before I go in, actually, is there any plastic on this back plane? Not that I can see. Okay. You get there out the way. Now we're cooking with gas.
this is where this kind of thing comes in very handy because you've got that length to get down into little tight spaces. Where you otherwise wouldn't be able to get your your hands into. Unless you've got teeny tiny hands. Alright. Audio. Yep. He's in. There's gonna be a bit of cable stuffing going on here, I can see. Okay, so this is this power connect door along this the strip here it just seems a strange design choice I don't mean to go on about it but you know you're putting that in a tucked away position which you have to you know go hunting for um, and yet they've got uh, fan headers over here which I think, have they? No. But anyway, there's room. There is definitely room. Okay, so you need to go on here. All right, so that's on. So you've got your spare SATA should you need it. But he's going to obviously be tucked somewhere else. All right, let's try and be methodical about this. Get these things, yeah, in a some form of order. Front USBs. him up okay and right so now I need to make sure I've got room for the power which goes that way okay that's the main power connector now, this was the front panel connector, not to be confused with the USB header, because the, the blanks in the different area. I suppose it saves having to fiddle around with the tiny front panel connectors that you normally do, hey? All right, so now comes the Tuck. Where am I going to put this bloody thing? There's really not a lot that can be done with the cables. Oh, I sh you know what? I should have put this in while I had it out before. That would have that would have made life easier. But I'll get it. It's going in. Gotcha. Whew. I was genuinely worried there for a second. So the trick now is to try and get these cables to sit somewhere so they're not going to hit the fan. So, just down there, okay, oh, it's really quite smushed, see if we can slide him down the side there, in there, yep, okay, alright, so once it's sort of smushed in, 
it's actually fairly neat. Except for you, you dog nut. There we go. So, I believe that's everything. We've got the front panel, we've got the USB 3s, we've got the audio, power, power. All right, well, I think that's it. So that's quite a neat little device. All right, let's, let's pop this cover on, see how, it, how it's going to go. If it's, how does it go in? Actually, where is, I probably should pay attention. I might be going in the, yeah, that's where it would go. Just gotta make sure none of these cables are getting hung up or, you know, blocking the way. Because, bloody hell, it's tight. There we go. Nice. All right. So, there he is, all built. Despite it being a little bit awkward. Um, bit of a spunky little machine. So you can take the bottom off, and you know what? I'm gonna take the bottom off just to have a quick squeeze before we uh, fire it up. Turn that bugger off. Because I'm just curious. Oh, there you go. So oh, you can get a 3.5 inch drive, you can get a 2.5 inch. As I said, that motherboard will take two um, M.2s, uh, you know, over, and over one under the other. Uh, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, cable management, there's no option for doing anything here. It's basically just, you might be able to, obviously you'll be able to feed the cable through somewhere to get um, the connectors you need. But yeah, it's not, a, it's not a case made with cable management in mind. It's basically just tuck them and once they're in, they're in, they won't be moving. So let's just quickly hook things up and fire it up so with this camera we will there we go just so you can see what's going on now HDMI, power, oh, it's got its own little uh, particular, maybe that one, that power supply, uh, power cable, I don't know why, I mean, and anywho, so I'll unplug that light, don't need him. That in. Keyboard and mouse. Oops. Actually, I'll put this on the front. No, I won't, because that's where I'm going to put Windows. Keyboard and mouse. One sec. All right. Power button is top right, if you're horizontal or top left. <coughs> All right. Uh, <coughs> sorry, I didn't mean to slap the mic then. Let's go into HDMI. Okay. Push the power button and see what happens. Got a power light. I can hear the uh, fan spinning up. It might be switching inputs again. I might have to, yeah, you silly bugger. 
go back over. Because I'm sharing monitors here, it just uh, didn't catch it in time. There we go. All right, so we can see the worth. Uh, so I'll just remain out of shot for the mo. While we wait for this to go through, just to confirm it's all going to work happily. It's just doing its usual delayed start when you're first loading Windows. Kit. All right, so I just thought that was a posty. All right, so I'll just quickly get this running. So that's good. It's actually fairly quiet, this little machine. I have to say, I'm, uh, despite the, uh, the sort of the few hiccups, um, it's a nice little case. I mean, you have to expect any case of this size is going to be um, tight and hard to get into. But the idea of these is you build them, it's kind of like set and forget. You're not going to be back in there upgrading things too often. Uh, so it's just a case of build it, get it neat. Uh, there we go, drives there. And, uh, and then away you go. Um, all right, so while that's doing that, it's going to flick back over here. So uh, that, Tim, um, is a very good little case. It's tight, as you would expect with uh, a Mini ITX. Uh, but, you know, once you're done, you're done. It's solid. Pretty sure this is aluminium. It's a good looking case, versatile, uh, horizontal or vertical. And um, yeah, so I hope this was helpful because as you could see that there were a couple of little things that may not have uh, been obvious at the start like the uh, the HD audio um, if next time I do one I'll know that that's hidden and I'll get that out first uh, it still seems to be a strange a strange choice to have it hidden initially seeing most people are going to have those connectors on their case but anyway um, but yeah so that's it I hope you enjoyed it um, and we will uh, we'll come back again next time with Whatever, whatever's coming up next, uh, I, I never know. I did do a, a, the laptop keyboard replacement I was talking about the other day, but I didn't film that. Um, look, I just simply didn't have the time, really, but um, it, it probably wasn't that great. But anyway, uh, so all right, so until next time, thanks for watching. There's a subscribe button if you're finding this mildly entertaining or educational or helpful or, or whatever. Um, but um, yeah, hit that button and I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll see you next time. Until then, take care, take it easy, and um, have a good one.